Welcome back to Focus on Pre-K. I'm Abby Morales from the Boston Public Schools, and I'll be leading you through the next six sections of Module 2. Module 2 will run between October 2nd and November 13th. By now, many of you have been contacted by a BPS coach who is assigned to work with you this year. They can help you complete and submit your assignments for this module and for the remaining two of the course. Please also let us know if you are having any kind of technical difficulty in managing the platform. In this section, we will be previewing Unit 2, Friends. As the unit overview shows, children will be exploring the concepts of friendship, how to be a good friend, and the kinds of things that friends do with each other to share each other's company. You'll also notice from the enduring understandings and the essential questions that children will be exploring more nuanced aspects of friendship, such as complex feelings that arise when you have a conflict and different kinds of strategies that you can use to resolve those conflicts. Let's take a look at how the Unit 2 Enduring Understandings and Essential Questions compare to those of Unit 1. Do you notice, notice any similarities or connections? Throughout the curriculum, conceptual understanding, such as caring for one another, problem solving, and resolving conflicts will build upon each other. Similarly, so will the content. Unit one ends with Corduroy becoming part of Lisa's family. One of the last things he says is, I've always wanted a friend making a bridge between the understandings in Unit 1 around family and the new understandings children will gain in Unit 2 around friendship. Let's take a look at how the enduring understandings and essential questions are addressed in the Unit 2 read-alouds. Friends usually share and help one another, but in The Little Red Hen Makes a Pizza, her friends, the dog, the duck, and the cat, refuse to. Can they still be friends? In a letter to Amy, we see Peter trying to navigate different friendships around a birthday party that he's about to have. Can he be friends with more than one person? In week two, we meet Matthew and Tilly great friends who spend a lot of time together doing a lot of fun things. But what happens when they have a terrible argument and say awful things to each other? Are they able to resolve their conflict and remain friends? In weeks three and four, the characters are preparing for special celebrations. In Dandelion, he goes to a barber shop and gets a new haircut and new clothes, which confuses his friend Jennifer Giraffe and causes a problem at the party. In Hooray Pinata, Clara feels conflicted about the pinata that they buy for her birthday party. How will the characters solve these dilemmas? In Swipple, Hush is based on a Thai lullaby, and the mother asks her animal friends to help her put the baby to sleep. In Golden Bear, the little boy thinks of the teddy bear as one of his best friends, a lot like Lisa in Corduroy in Unit 1. Road Builders is a Let's Find Out About It text and introduces us to the concept of work friends. The other Let's Find Out About It texts are from Wheat to Bread and Markets Around the World, which goes into depth about how food gets to our grocery stores and is an opportunity for children to encounter nonfiction features, such as a table of contents, glossary, index, and photographs instead of illustrations.
Let's look at some of the Unit 2 activities that are related to the read aloud texts. In centers, children will be creating and playing in a grocery store, like the one the little red hen goes to to buy the ingredients for her pizza. They will also be creating and playing in a barber shop or salon, like the one in Dandelion. They will be constructing neighborhoods, like the ones they see in Matthew and Tilly, Horea Pinata, as well as their neighborhoods at home and around the school. They'll be constructing roads, like the road builder friends do, as well as the roads that help bring the food to the grocery stores. The activities themselves are opportunities for children to practice friendship skills and to develop their social emotional abilities, such as collaborative paintings and in small groups where they'll work together to make a class pinata. It's recommended that you close this unit with some kind of class celebration, similar to those that are in the read alouds. It can be something as simple as inviting friends and family into the classroom to read stories to children, to a presentation of the work that happened throughout the unit. Start considering now what might be the most appropriate and the most feasible for your group.